Nothing will save them now. Thank you for watching Classy JTV. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit the like button. Welcome whinies to the Sasha K Podcast. This is a public forum and anyone can come and give comments about the show tonight. Next up we have an idiot who lives in Houston, Texas. He is a convicted felon who ran over and killed a child with a stolen vehicle and a download John Doe who loves R. Kelly. His name is DJ Tyson. Trouble. And whatever he do, they go slam just like they did God damn it, he was man. correct. It, you know, it's, it's, I don't know what's wrong with dude, man. And it's a fatuation with these young ass girls. And I'm saying to myself, Ooh. dude, you got any woman in the world. Ooh. Not the leader. This the leader. Legal. You think it's cool this the one get the big them. trucks at the rally? So for everybody, they, that's we why early. This ain't got shit to do with. We get the Durangos. Got daughters. And shit. Everybody know I got daughters. They ain't got shit to do with that. I'm just going off what I'm seeing on TV. What I'm seeing before my eyes. What I'm listening to. I watched the whole fucking docu series. And if you go a little further, a shot team. That girl is lying. That's all I'm saying. Y'all got agree. to do more I agree with that. watch the doctor. See, this shit on YouTube, y'all ain't seen. The man, Josh, the father, told the girl when the news people asked her, how long you been seeing R. Kelly? The man in the background, Josh, the father, in the background. <laughs> Listen, Give us your opinion. Is no innocent ass dude. What I am saying is this here. Every motherfucker that got something to do with bringing girls to R. Kelly, for Sparkle, the dancers, the, the the security guard with the with, with the birth with the uh, yes, marriage certificate did. and all that shit. Uh, the the mama, the daddy, man, charge their ass to put them all in there together. You know, it's just so crazy that people want to single out one person when it's all a lot of people involved. See, it's it's like this. If my friend tell me he's going to rob a bank, right, and I'm Knowingly, you gonna call the police? We said knowingly, no, that he's finna rob the bank, the and I take him friend. to the bank to rob the bank, <laughs> and I'm just in the car. You better not go with you. And my car is to get you away. Better find somebody else to go with him in that damn bank. <laughs> I'm guilty too. <laughs> she went to see some shit on TV. TV, and then she say, "Well, I'm a victim survivor as well." So now you being biased because. It, 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 it's on a TV series and now you want to launch an investigation because now you're in your own personal feelings. Come on, man. Come on. Ain't nobody gonna never sit up there and tell me I ain't motherfucking right. If that's the case, you could have been doing it. Now you want a big payday? You want a big payday? You want to make this the big first thing and use the man as an example? And I'm not never saying R. Kelly is innocent about shit. Everybody knows. Well, let me know. Young girls. Let me knows know. They got issues, whatever the case might be. All I'm saying is the facts are the facts. But really? Now, if this shit would have never came on TV, Kim Fox would have never sit up there with launch no investigation. So everybody can quit acting like they know what the fuck they talking about. Oh, finally somebody. So, DJ, you didn't mention these feelings the other night. As a matter of fact, you would not answer the question I asked about do you think R. Kelly slept with underage girls? Now I see it's because you do believe he is guilty. You just don't want him to fall to prison. You would rather bash one of the alleged victims. There are more alleged underage victims that has not been publicly announced. What will you say about them during trial? Show tonight, did you like it? 
Did you not like it? What did you think about me reading the LGBTQ community? Okay. DJ Tyson. Oh, shit. Hey, DJ. How you doing? What's up? Oh, shit. How you how doing? You doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I watched a lot of night. I mean, it ain't even about whether I liked it or not and all that stuff. Uh, you know where we stand for the R. Kelly situation. I, it's just with me, I just find it so strange that uh, when we talk about like the 17-year-old boy, this, that, and the other, why they didn't bring that stuff out when they had the first trial versus now? And my question to you is like, the same energy you gave uh, R. Kelly when all that surviving blue crap came out. Why Angelo ain't get that same smoke? Because he didn't lie on social media to a lot of people. And I did my homework research on everything. I had a two hour conversation with this guy and he said a lot of uh, things that didn't make sense. He said he wanted R. Kelly to get a record deal with his daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, and he wanted his daughter to do some music with him. He said it was just a bad business deal that went bad. You know, and I got the receipts to, you know, to, uh, you know, to back it up. What I'm saying, that's why I'm one of the most hated on these at my level, not your level, but at my level, I'm one of the most hated on these YouTube streets. Why are you hated? Because you're capping for R. Kelly? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not capping. I mean, I'm just bringing the truth about what's going on with the case because on Facebook, Angelo called my phone and we had a two hour conversation and it's still on my Facebook to this day. And he was just talking to somebody he didn't even know. The outcome of what? Of the trial. I mean, but why wait to the outcome to try? You ain't get R. Kelly that same respect to wait to the outcome for him. And he was one of the ones that gave you the information. What was was R. Kelly? I mean, answer this question, DJ. Was he sleeping with underage girls? I mean, everybody knows. If he was, why he get convicted for it? Because That's the girl would not testify <laughs> because she was living with him. Let me let me ask you this. But you didn't answer my question. But let me ask you your question. Let me also ask How you. How you ask me a question? You ain't my question first. Now, come on now. You used to having your way all the time. Let me have I'm my... not used to having my way. I just asked you a question. I let you talk. I didn't no. interrupt. No, a man is innocent until proven guilty. He went to court. They found him. They found him not guilty. Okay. You got a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter. I got three of them. Okay. Any of them ever sleep with any older niggas? Uh, not to my knowledge. I mean, they grown. I mean, not okay, to my but if they were younger, if you had a twelve-year-old fucking a thirty-year-old man, and he never got convicted, would you get on camera to say he's not guilty? Although I know for a fact he was fucking my daughter. But it, but this is hearsay. We talking. About, I'm, I'm not gonna put my kids in they our were, Are you listen. serious? There I'm are like, videos oh, no, out man. there. Come on no, no, now. No, no, you didn't see the video. I know where you're trying to go there with. I'm what asking I'm trying a question. To, there was a video. No, he was no, kissing on no, a 14 year old girl. No, no. Yes. Come on now. You know <laughs> you you know R. Kelly beat that case, and they trying to throw that stuff back Why up. Why did there. he beat the case? Because they because the girl did not testify because he paid the family off who was working for him. This is public that, knowledge. That, that and hearsay. Sparkle's niece was still but living with him as still, a child. Listen, okay, listen to me. He still went to court and they found the man not guilty, Tasha K. How many white people that he went to beat, court? Listen, okay, listen. I like how somebody said this in the chat. He beat the case. He didn't win it. He beat it. There's a difference, okay? okay? okay. But just because... Case, but how many, man, babe? Listen to me. Public opinion is not the law. The law is the law. Public, Public opinion? Nigga, there were videos. The there were videos. But, okay, okay. Well, let me... Let's go here with the baby. Azrael was 17 years old. 16 years old when he started her. Listen, you, was you there? Was you there when he was fucking her? Are you? She admitted it. Come on no, she now, said, she said, DJ. DJ. No, DJ. she didn't. DJ. No, she didn't. DJ. I it. No, DJ. no, no, DJ. no. DJ, I, DJ, I've had conversations with Azrael. She started fucking him that's, when she was 16 years old. It's obvious that you were only in this fight for financial gain for yourself. 
We all know R. Kelly is guilty and God help him in the courtroom. If he hadn't slept with underage girls and boys, he would not be in this situation. If R. Kelly ever gets out, I will put in a good word for you because it seems that you want to be the next John Doe. You're so dumb you had to Google, where is the Chicago Marathon? You're so dumb, you can never find your race results, because you always search for me. I heard you failed math so many times in school that you can't even count. I heard you failed math so many times in school that you can't even count. I can't believe you got fired from the calendar factory all you did was take a day off. I know that they say money talks, but all DJs says it's goodbye. Light travels faster than sound, which is the reason that some people appear bright before you hear them speak. DJ. A man knocked on your door and asked for a small donation for your local swimming pool, and you gave him a glass of water. I heard you got kicked out of a secret cooking society, because you spilled the beans. When you went to a seafood restaurant last week, all you ended up doing was pulling a muscle. And lastly you asked me. How do you make holy water? You do it by boiling the hell out of it. I do have a few jokes about unemployed people, but none of them work. This is for Kevin with a K. Have you heard about the new restaurant called Karma? There is no menu, you get what you deserve. But I pity the fool, and I will destroy any man who tries to take what I got. Bro, I told you better get out of here. I'm the champ. I'm gonna tell my bitch like I did last time.